Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel. This is Cora Lost, and it is freezing here today. Uh, I came in early this morning, and it was about 60 degrees in here. It was crazy windy last night, and I think it knocked out our power light and our heater on the roof. So I'm sitting up here. Um, I just called the landlord, trying to get the access key to our roof so we can go check the heater. Um, I did, it's funny, I made a video last night talking about heaters and how important they are and how being prepared is the number one thing. And of course, you can't always be prepared for everything because we don't all have the money for that. Um, you know, one of the things, having multiple tanks, if they're not all plumbed in together, and I was talking about this, you know, the other day with somebody, is you can either heat the room and have, you know, the temperature ambient 77, let's say, you know, hot fish room and all the tanks are heated by the ambient temperature. You know, as long as that room temperature is warm, the tanks will stay warm. But if you've got a lot of tanks and you put them in, you know, a bunch of heaters and they all kick on at the same time, they blow the fuse, they pop the breakers, they, um, you know, one big 300 watt heater versus two smaller heaters. I'm always trying to teach everybody every aspect in, of protection in, in, that you guys can have. So, right now, I'm just going to turn around the camera, get down off this ladder, show you guys a few things, and then I'll continue talking about this. But it is devastating. Um, I come in this morning, I'm all excited to go to work, and it's freezing in here. And it's the holidays, and I'm pretty busy, and you know, getting someone to come out here and try to fix the heater right now is going to be tough. So I'm just praying right now that I get it done and that everything survives. So my chameleons, hopefully they're okay. I did turn on the heat bulbs and the heat lamps, but everything was off last night. And yeah, so that is one of my concerns. But let's make this an educational experience and let's move forward and see what I can do from here. So, all right guys, let's get to it. Okay, Reefers, you were able to get the heat back on, so I am a lot happier and in a better mood. So I'm just doing a quick retake of today. It was a very long day, and the heat was off this morning, and we did get it fixed, and the pilot light was not able to light because the, I guess the gas pressure regulator was frozen shut. So good news, we were able to get that open, get it working, and we have heat back on. So I'm very, very pleased with that. Thank you so much. Um, the guys who came out today and Alex who came by dropped off the space heater. Thank you very much, brother. I really appreciate that because you know what? It was just a great gesture and I was panicking this morning with no heat whatsoever. So we do have a lot to talk about, a lot of cool things that I changed around. We have some new pets, but I did just want to focus on the heaters today and I will get back to that other stuff later on. So let's just talk about the heaters. So it's winter time, it's freezing, and you need to check your heaters before it's too late. You should definitely have a backup on hand in case the holidays, it is closed, and FedEx is not gonna ship you overnight, and Amazon and all those other places, um, you're just not gonna have any luck. So, um, unless you have my number and you wanna come by the store, which I'm always open um, <laughs> for everybody pretty much, um, you're gonna be stuck. So look at this heater right here. It is a broken tube and the coils are exposed. Uh, I'm just a little, um, I don't even know what to say. Let me tell you the story of how this happened. Um, so we were taking apart this tank. I did ask one of the guys to drain it and disassemble it because we were moving it. And this was a shrimp tank and all kinds of, had some uh, sucker fish in there and some placos, whatever was in there, right? So they're just breaking it down and they forgot to unplug all the wires. The heater didn't get unplugged, and when they drained the tank, it basically burned up in there, and somehow, just over time, it either can touch the water after it cooled down, and then it exploded and cracked, but however it happened, this is the result. So, yeah, so if you put your hand in there, you could get electrocuted. You know, I don't know how it's happened to me before in the past, and one of my other videos, if you guys watch it, I did talk about heaters in that episode as well. I'll put that in the links in the comments below, in the description somewhere. But anyway, so yeah, so that heater was broken, and I didn't know it, and I also didn't know that there was a fish in there. 
So right next to the broken heater, when I looked in there and I saw something moving, I was already frustrated enough that I um, saw the glass in there, but this guy was in the bottom. Unbelievable, he survived. Um, yeah, I'm just amazed. So this was probably about a week or two weeks that went by since I moved that thing in a drain to the time when I found this, this little sucker. And he was literally in about a centimeter of water and I do not know how he survived. But, but yeah, so I was amazed. So that made me a little bit happier. Seeing that we found a, a survivor made me feel a little bit better about the whole situation. So go home, check your heaters, try not to get electrocuted, do not get cut by the glass, but make sure all your heaters are working, test them out, um, reset your thermostats if you have to. Some people will have digital controllers, and if you have a digital controller and a heater without a thermostat on it, some of those titanium heaters can just cook forever. I accidentally plugged one in to warm up some water that we had that was cold, and I didn't have a shutoff, and it melted right through the Rubbermaid tub. So it heated it so hot, the water inside was boiling, and it melted the plastic to it stretched thin like a balloon. So it was pretty scary. Um, yeah, so be careful of that stuff, man. Heaters, heaters are no joke. And we don't want to see anyone get hurt, but definitely check your equipment and just overall check your maintenance. It's winter time and you know things just need to be serviced. Now that you're inside, you're not outside the beach, you're out running around with friends, you're in your house more in the winter time, this is the great time to service your stuff. So re-aquascape your aquarium, feel free to upgrade your lighting. If you guys contact me, I will definitely hook you up and anyone who gets an upgraded lighting for their tank, I throw you in coral cash or fish bucks or something to always help you out. So we really want to keep people in the hobby and do everything we can. And these guys, I can't walk by this tank without them crowding around. They're always, always thinking I'm feeding them when I walk by, which is fun. <laughs> I do love the attention, even from the fish. Look at them go. But that's that guys. All right, so I'm gonna sign off. It's been a long, long day. And I just wanted to, like I said, just get over this day, get it done. Tomorrow's Friday. And I got a whole nother mess of things to get done tomorrow. So Christmas is approaching way too fast this year. And I just didn't get to get done all the things that I wanted. But we do have some cool, cool videos coming your way. Some awesome new things. And I will definitely keep you guys all posted for that stuff in the near future. So as always, thanks for watching, happy reefing. Please leave your experience in the comments below. If you've had a problem with a heater breaking or you had a heater stuck on, feel free to let us know because you know knowledge is power and if five or six of us had the same problem with the same heater, it's a great way to share that information and for us to get the feedback. So help, build us, help us build the community <laughs> and strengthen each of our Aquarius, Aquarists, whatever you want to call yourselves. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for today, guys. Enjoy yourselves. Have a good one. See you in the next. Hey, Chris. Is it a good bone? You like the bone? Huh? You want to share with anyone? You want to share with me? Good boy. He's a good boy. <laughs>